Oh snap, we're back with the Immortal Snap video as today we're gonna feature some Dr. Octopus. You know, it's my favorite card at this point. <laughs> I, I was like, how do, how do I start this intro, man? Which is like, another Dr. Octopus deck. I'm a little bit addicted. I'll admit it. I, I really like playing this card. I understand this card uh, is, you know, it does not come without risks. Um, arguably, I, I, th I think it could be buffed a little bit in power. I think um, the, the whole 10 power for five energy has been a little bit power crept nowadays. Uh, it would be nice to see him. I would love to see Dr. Octopus with 12 power and I think that would not be broken or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna advocate for that in this video. But yeah, I just really like this card. Not because, I mean, yes, a little bit because of the YOLO moments. Like, okay, what, what, what are we getting? <laughs> what are we drunking down, right? Uh, I like it because of his, his clock potential, and uh, I like it because Dr. Octopus allows you to preemptively seal the lane, but not like Professor X does. Uh, Dr. Octopus just dumps everything your opponent has on that lane, and then, you know, you have a chance to, uh, to win it back. And there's also, like, several things that can stem from this, like you can run stuff like Ghost Spider to move him out of the location, right? Like, there, there's different decks that can really um, become a thing. Uh, and and can revolve around this card, and I just really like it. So yeah, you can expect Doctor Octopus to be, uh, you know, um, but what what's the terminology for this? Uh, a recurring a recurring cast member on this channel. Like this is, yeah. So it's a Doctor Octopus deck with um, with zero. So basically, what I wanted was a high tempo deck that could uh, really put a lot of points in one location. So like think about like for example, we lead off with like zero, and then we put Maximus. Uh, we play Rescue on the Maximus lane, and then we Dr. Octopus on that location. Uh, the idea is to have a lot of power in one location, seal it, and then we can resort to stuff like Juggernaut and Cosmo on the other to solidify that one. We have a lot of, we have no six drops, so because we have the ability to chain multiple cards uh, and generate a lot of power, thanks to uh, zero combos. Zero is a very high powered one drop to begin with, him being three power. Uh, he has an unreal effect that is technically a negative effect, but in the right deck, it's actually a positive one. You remove the abilities of the next card you play. We can play zero into Titania, we can play zero into Lizard, we can play zero into Maximus, we can play zero into Gladiator. And uh, we don't have to deal with those pesky abilities. And the idea is to be able to uh, chain a lot of these effects. Like, for example, a finisher is uh, Shang-Chi into zero Titania. That's basically uh math that's 11 points plus a shang chi effect which is crazy we can juggernaut into zero maximus or juggernaut into zero lizard uh for also a lot of points right while controlling one location juggernaut like i said blends really well with dr octopus because uh we have one location completely clogged and therefore we know exactly where the units are being moved to and uh, it can really help us take a location when uh, the Dr. Octopus one, the Dr. Octopus one is secured, right? Like we can utilize Juggernaut to win that other location, and then with the rest of our energy, use that to uh, solidify Dr. Octopus lane. As we are trying to place power onto the play, onto the place where we Dr. Octopus, right? That's also why we're playing armor. Sometimes we can preemptively play armor to uh, like we can go like something like armor into gladiator into rescue into dr octopus you know and that's we're talking about 19 27 30 points all right like we're talking about 30 points on one location whatever we dump down from then we're likely to be able to beat that you know keep in mind helidex right but we're likely to be able to beat that and uh, and then we can work on on the other location with uh with all the extra mana that we have we can go something like juggernaut into like zero titania for example uh, or juggernaut into zero lizard and all of a sudden we put like you know with, with that line of play we're placing 11 points on the other location while removing all of our opponent's last plays onto it as well so it's it's just a tempo deck with um with zero synergy and that's just trying to dump the opponent it's trying to disrupt what the opponent is doing uh through you know dr octopus and cosmo juggernaut when we have the lead and that's uh, the deck that's right there. I've been rambling for quite a bit. There's not that much more to it. Uh, it's just a bunch of good cards together that can generate solid, reliable, consistent points and uh, just enough uh, levels of disruption to uh, you know not get overblown by more powerful synergies within the meta. As 
you'll see Juggernaut Cosmo in a lot of my decks because I really like this combination. I really like this approach of finishing games. I like I like decks that can generate a lot of force between in the mid game and then solidifying the locations with these two. Uh, so that is definitely a core that you're also going to be seeing on the channel quite a bit. And I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoyed today's games. Tomorrow, I'll be at, back at it with uh, hopefully a Proxima Midnight deck. She's going to be available today. And I, I want to start being more updated with like the actual releases. Uh, and I have, a, I have a fun idea for her. So yeah, I'll see you there. It's not Hella. It's actually not Hella. Shocker. But yeah, now I'll stop talking. Love you, have a soul day, enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Elysium. Omega lol. The reason why I went Shang-Chi last turn instead of the last turn is because leech is a thing. Like, they could leech me. And I have I had a turn six play that could play into leech. Like you guys, you guys gotta keep in mind like what the opponent can do. Oh, is that a magneto? <laughs> you fat f Easy. Just need two shings, exactly. I'm gonna lizard into the vibranium mines, actually. That's just a good location where they're not going to be um, really developing. Oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa.
Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's burn that plane to the ground. How confident am I here? Dazzler and two Colossus, okay. Spectrum, bro, I don't give a fuck about Spectrum. I'm, I'm about to play a 20 point YOLO octopus that's gonna blow him back. <laughs> Easy. Nice, Mr. Fantastic, bro. And now... They run. Can't call him a skinny. F yeah, that's 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 my point. But guys, it's not. It's actually not that bad. Yes, it ruined our armor, our lizard, and our Doctor Octopus. But we got a three four Shang Chi. It's it's it it's guys, it's probably worse for them. It has to be worse for them. Like I think we we psychologically force ourselves into thinking that this is always benefiting the opponent and screwing us over, but that's not true. They're they're suffering just as much as we are. I just don't know what the fuck to play because everything is just so bad. I'm just gonna drop my, my armor. I don't even want the armor effect. Um, no, I can't. I can't, Doctor Octopus. Oh no, no! Let's rescue mid to gain initiative. It's okay, guys. We have Shang-Chi. We have Shang-Chi. To me. Oh, no. Oh, no. This fucking thing. It's okay. It's okay. We got five energy, two power lizard. Okay, guys, hear me out. 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 Shang Chi mid. No. That was zero. Oh, zero. Oh, zero. Um. Do you think they could Zola? They're gonna Zola, aren't they? But if they Zola mid, they they lose on those two. Maximus, eight. That's. that's you're actually not that strong. You're like six power. And just Shang Chi for points? Oh no, I should have.
by by I I play points in locations to win them. I don't know what the fuck my opponents are doing, but that that's what I do. That's how I roll. I know, I know. It's it's just just it's 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 truth. It's the truth. Now, do I do I um, zero Maximus or do I Maximus or do I <laughs> or do I zero Lizard? I think I actually zero Lizard. Um, Maximus could come into play to counter Blob and Lockjaw in the later portions of the game. So I think zeroing Lizard is more important in this matchup. Just, just gonna let him get all that. All you see, I'm zeroing him. I'm I'm stripping away his ability. I'm taking away all the toxins from him. And I'm gonna develop on the left. A little bit of raw power there. I regret my decisions. I like the idea of Maximus rescue into Doc into YOLO Octopus. Let's get it. Yeah, see, they already have a max hand, so Maximus is free here anyways. I'm gonna snap a die. This is this is the power this is the power of Dr. Octopus. I'm gonna I'm gonna just raw dog this I Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm saying, but Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they're moving to the center. No, they aren't. Oh my god, you idiot. Why would you net why would you not do that? Mmm, that's not good. That's not good. I need I need my juggernaut. I need my juggernaut Polaris? Guys, Polaris. No. Oof. Minions to me. <laughs> Omega lol. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you win a game. Guys, there's no way they don't run. They're, they're retreating later, guys. They're retreating later. I should have armored left. If I armor left, I win. Why did I armor right? Armor right accomplishes nothing. Never accomplishes anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have armored left. Oh my. My man is Tom Brady. Isn't that like the quarterback? Even I know that. Okay, it's not Thanos. Gladiator, go. Give us information. What are they playing? <laughs> the fuck out of here. Die. Get, get lasered. Okay, super scroll. What does that tell us? That tells us that this Dr. Octopus top deck is the tits. The actual tits. There's no way they play Shang-Chi here. There's no way they play Shang-Chi here. Impossible.
YOLO! Octopus! Good? Okay? <laughs> I am Iron Man. Pathetic. We still have initiative, guys. We still have initiative. They, guys, they want to play magic into Elysium. And we're going to Cosmo them. That's what they're doing. And just in case, we Juggernaut here. Omega Law. Yeah, mighty hands indeed. So mighty. They have two cards in hand. Two freaking cards in hand. Such is my judgment. There's no way you have that much power. If they can both Onslaught and Tribunal with Elysium, they don't need to magic. Yeah, that's a good point. I could Titania into the Miniaturized Lab, but I'm not going to do it. Hella is everywhere. Yes. Yes, she is. Marvel Snap, more like Marvel, Marvel Dice Roll. Guys, I finally, I get to play Nico Minoru. After you play your next card, moving one location to the right. Uh, that's, that's useless. Wow. Armor. What's my spell now? Uh, draw two cards. Destroy to draw two cards. Okay. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go lizard in the middle, actually. And I'm gonna Nico into Titania. Guys, I'm I yes, I am going to sacrifice Titania. To the gods. For our Lord Almighty Cthulhu, I will sacrifice the Booba. And you know why? Because the booba will betray me. This werewolf by night is a bit of an issue. Let's see if we can navigate around it. I am gonna Dr. Octopus. I'm obviously not gonna Dr. Octopus on the lizard lane. That's also why I went lizard in the middle. I, I, I need to share my thought process more. I went lizard in the middle because if they have Captain Marvel, then I'm gonna want to Dr. Octopus the flanks because that'll allow me to potentially disrupt her. Uh, so lizard in the middle can actually beat Captain Marvel one on one. And you know, I'm like I said, I plan on Doctor Octopus on the flank, so I I don't want to do the do that on the same location where I have like an a zero less lizard on. So that's that's why I'm sequencing like this. Uh, this werewolf here is a problem though because it can move away and it can it can occupy one space. But I don't know if it's a big of a problem. It's probably gonna move to the middle now. Oh yeah, look at that. Yo, low! 
Moshe Chibi! Mm hmm. So they have Beast, they have Rock Slide. What was the other card? Forge. Beast, Rock Slide, and. So, so they have Rock Slide and Forge and two other mysterious cards. Okay. Okay. Werewolf is makes things tricky. Not having initiative also makes things tricky. But there are two cards besides the Forge and the other one. Shit, dude. kind of shit that needs to be fixed immediately because otherwise your, your game has like no integrity whatsoever you, you cannot have like you if you have a series of rules you have to follow them like you cannot have shit working like randomly like that just makes no sense They're going to want to destroy Deadpool immediately. So we're going to Lizard on the right to gain initiative over them. Or, or they just, or they just like double down. But again, Lizard accomplishes this, unless it's something weird, like a, a bar with no name or some shit. There we go. Well, that's, that's a, uh... let's send it, let's send it home. Lizard onto the miniaturized lab is ideal. have any ongoing effects so that super scroll is useless but I'm gonna snap on him I got Cosmo I got Juggernaut I got I got the counters and this Dr. Octopus into rescue is phenomenal Lizard weakens the scroll yeah yeah exactly I noticed that immediately
hold my mighty hand. You hold my mighty hand. Fuck me, dude. Sometimes I just I just lack points. I just just lack points. This thing has like lizard's ability. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> what? I mean, it's double us. Oh my! Oh, that's actually. <laughs> I don't want to play Titania naked. I can't play Titania naked. That that means other people get to see her, and I I, I don't like that. What a bro! What a bro! <laughs> Polaris, Polaris. Polaris, please. Polaris. Polaris, girl, please. 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 Polaris. We have the next specs thing. Juggernaut. Guys, they're playing into the vault. They're playing into the vault. This Juggernaut is going to be glorious. Watch. Oh, my God. Oh, my Deus. Jeff on there. Yes. Napoda! Konya! Alright, I'm gonna go uh, rescue in the middle. Kill monger? Kill mongrel. What the fuck is a kill mongrel? They have initiative over us, which means this Titania is perfection. And then. And then you have my permission to die. Then we need to gain initiative. Then we need to gain initiative, so we are gonna armor on the left. Because then we can Cosmo endgame. Here we go. Send it. Send it. Well, fuck you, guy. I already won. You can't afford to leech here. Bro, you cannot afford to leech here. What are you doing? If you move Jeff over here, which is what you want to do, what happens if you move Jeff over here? That is effectively seven points. <laughs> Get Titania, bitch. That won't work for you. You're done. You're actually done. Yeah. Victory. 